Oh, morning everybody. It is just after 5 a.m. Sun's just about up. I can hear Maddie coming up the road with rake number two. Saw headlights behind her that I'm sure was Hector. You can kind of see her there through the trees. So, we got just a little bit of dew. Hopefully it'll hold up for a couple hours because we got about 200 acres we could bale this morning. All right, we are rolling. Sun just came up. We got both rakes going, one back there. The other one's right there, other baler's over there. Got a 90 acre half circle to start off the day. We'll see how it goes from here. All right, first field is done. 90 acres, 715, I don't even know if you can read that. It's 715. Now the bad part is we got right at a 15 mile move to our next field, so we'll go see if there's any moisture left by the time we get in there. All right, about two thirds of the way there, crossing over the mighty Arkansas. Now we're gonna take this baby through downtown, see how many people we can upset this morning. All right, we are chugging along here on field number two. Got the first little bit done. You can see the two rakes over there, the other baler. This field is kicking out bales left and right, but no flipping moisture. Ah, oh, that move killed us. We had just a little bit of moisture left, but spending 30 minutes going down the road, we lost it. But because we can't move around in here at night because of this major highway right in front of me there it's we got this good field here we got two good fields two and a half miles over there i don't want to have to make that move at first light with all the vehicles on the road and risk something happening with one of us so we're going to bail this field drive we're going to bail two fields that are pretty poor quality we're going to go ahead and bail them right now and get them out of the way so then tomorrow we just have two really good fields and we're ready to get back out north of town where we can keep moving through the acres out there. So, check in with you here in a little bit. All right, so we got these two fields done and knocked out. Quite a few bales throughout there. I don't know how well you can see them. Stringing off over there for basically half a mile. So, now we're gonna go to a real fun farm. I'll show you guys the next place. All right, so here is the last field of the day. Just over 20 acres, right up next to a community. Town swimming pool is right over there. This is a uh, this is always an odd farm to come in here for, especially if you come bail at night. As you work your way down each row here, you'll just watch house after house. The lights slowly kick on all. What in the heck is going on out there? As you can see though, there isn't much alfalfa left in this field. It is all but spent. So we actually planted new alfalfa right there in the other 20 acre field. And the plan was to tear this one out. But now with the conditions the way they are, we're probably just gonna have to leave this one until next year which kind of sucks because that's not producing anything yet because it's just getting started. This isn't producing it really anything yet because it's burnt out. So we got a, a 40 acre farm that's producing basically nothing for the next couple of months. <laughs> that's always nice and easy on a cash rent. But yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. The other baler broke down, so it looks like I'm on my own to finish up this one. All right, there it is done three whole bales off of 20 or 25 acres so we started baling right before 5 30 it is just before 10 o'clock now that's not too bad for 150 160 acres ish and a 30 minute move in the middle there so now to go about four miles to where the rakes are parked for tomorrow's field this is a fun road to bring semis down, FYI. Two tight turns and all these trees. Lots of fun. But yeah, so go park, go figure out the plan for the rest of the day.